Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are a recurring viewer or a subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. I really appreciate you all being here today. Um, this is going to be a very short video. I just have a very exciting announcement that I would like to share. And that is the next selection in March's Buddy Read that I will be doing along with Steve Donahue. And I say Buddy Read, but really it's more a group read because we are reading it together, but we have it opened where anyone who wants to join us is more than welcome. And uh, we would love as many people as want to to join because it's always fun to have you know a big group going with a read. So last month, we decided to align our reading selection with Steve's book club, which he launched last month. And uh, his first choice for his book club was A Distant Mirror by Barbara Tuchman, which is a history of the 14th century. And so for our group read slash buddy read, we went with Dan Jones's new novel, Essex Dogs, because it's set in the same time period really without realizing that the release did not happen until the middle of the month for the U.S. market. And so we had a lot of people waiting to get their copies while we had already started the buddy read. And, it, it, you know, it was too late to pull out. So this month we have not made that mistake. The book that we have selected has been out for quite a while. And so it's readily available. So no one will have to be waiting on their copies and then feeling like we're just plowing on ahead without, you know, when they don't have the book themselves, uh, which is, you know, we don't, I don't want to do that again. That was not, you know, that was not great. Um, and so March is, or March here on BookTube is, is March of the Mammoths, which is a reading event all about reading mammoths or big books. I think it's 800 pages or more is considered a mammoth. And so um, Steve and I took that into account with with our next selection and Steve picked James Clavell's Shogun. And I apologize for the, for the small size of the cover. My Kindle is apparently never gonna show me a cover again. It did yesterday. Um, I thought it was fixed and then it's back to act, acting crazy. So this is just the cover page within the ebook itself. So I do apologize that it's that it's so small. Um, but I'm really excited for this. So this is this is a definitely a mammoth. I believe it's 1,100 pages. So it's going to be very interesting to see if I can read this in March because I'm also reading Moby Dick along with Anne Novella. I am reading The Book of Disquiet for Classics and Company. So I have a lot on my plate as far as large books go in March. But I'm really excited for it. I, I think I'll be able to tackle it just fine. I'm excited, which I think is, is the most important factor in being able to read a book. I have the motivation. We'll see if I have the time. Um, so I have never read this before. I've never read anything by this author before. So I thought because of that fact, I would read the, uh, the, the book synopsis for myself but also um, for any of you out there who are not familiar with this book, if it would help you as well. Um, so I just pull it up here on my computer, so I do apologize for the glare in my glasses. Uh, but this is what, uh, this is what the, the back of the cover would say. After Englishman John Blackthorne is lost at sea, he awakens in a place few Europeans know of and even fewer have seen, Nippon. Thrust into the closed society that is 17th century Japan, a land where the line between life and death is razor thin, Blackthorn must negotiate not only a foreign people with unknown customs and language, but also his own definitions of morality, truth, and freedom. As eternal political strife and a clash of cultures lead to seemingly inevitable conflict, Blackthorn's loyalty and strength of character are tested by both passion and loss, and he is torn between two worlds that will each be forever changed. Sounds amazing. So I'm, I'm very excited for this. So this is my... Um, buddy read slash group read with Steve for the month of March. If you would like to join us, absolutely, we would love to have you. All you have to do to join is get the book and read along with us. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to handle the videos for this. I'm assuming Steve will make a video every chapter or every segment, at least a, probably a video once a week at least. I will try to do that as well. Um, I may not be able to always hold myself to that, but I will promise as many videos as I can. Uh, and then I know Steve will, will pick up any of the video slack that I may drop. Um, so that's it for today. Just a really quick announcement video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you would like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now and happy reading.